Hello, in this Bootstrap video, I am going to show you how to implement tooltips in Bootstrap 5. So, what is a tooltip? If I go to the Bootstrap website, and a tooltip is if you see these buttons, so if I click on, not click, sorry, hover over, I should say, on this one, you get this little tooltip over it, and this can provide some extra information. It might just, you know, explain what this button does. That's on the right, that's the bottom left, and this one is with HTML, so feel free to check that one out as well. You can, you know, check out the disabled states as well, and a bunch of other stuff, and all of the options that are available. I'm just gonna show you how to implement a basic one, and then from there, you can, you know, utilize this. So it says, make sure you include popper.js. That's something I've already, I had it here somewhere, there we go, already, included when I set up Bootstrap in the setup video. If you are new to this and have gone straight to this video for tooltips, make sure you've got that there. Okay, so what we're gonna do is implement our, just a similar button to what is on there. So I'm gonna put type equals button, and then I'm gonna show you how to you know activate it via JavaScript. It can be a bit convoluted if you don't know what you're doing the first time btn btn secondary feel free to check out my video on buttons for more information on buttons and i want to call this epic button and we also need a data dash toggle equals tool tip and put data dash placement equals bottom so if you want it on the top you'll put top if you want it on the left, you put left. If you want it on the right, you will put right. I'm gonna put title is basically what appears in that tooltip. I'm gonna put tooltip on bottom. Obviously, this is just saying that it's on the bottom, but this can say whatever you want. And I'm just gonna say epic tip. And currently, if I go over here, it doesn't appear. We need to actually activate it in JavaScript, and that is up to us as Know, the developer so that way if for some reason maybe we've detected that they're on a mobile device for example this doesn't look very good plus also mobile devices though very powerful now in 2020 still not as powerful obviously as a desktop machine and you might want to save some processing power okay so var options equals semicolon and the only option i'm going to put is animation true. Feel free to put more options just by putting a comma, then putting the other options like I showed you down here. So there's a bunch of, there's a lot of options that are available for tooltips. Now what we need to do is actually get the elements of our element document dot get element by ID. And this is what we put here for the ID. So epic button. And I'm gonna say var tooltip equals new bootstrap dot tooltip element options. And there we go. Okay, so that should be it and that's activated so if we we'll go back reload hover hmm, that's not working let me inspect make sure we got no errors we do have an error line 35 Ooh. should be an equal sign there reload there we go tooltip on bottom it's as simple as that for implementing tooltips great for providing extra information without having all of the content on the website which can look a bit cluttered if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video